We're in line for the New York Run Fair. I've never been. You've been to this one, I assume? Oh yeah, this is my home run fair. Yeah, we have Australia and Ophelia and Charlie. If you've watched videos of mine before, you've probably seen all of them. Yay! Wow! Friendship. Friendship. We're in line and it is, it's a long line. Yeah, what's your favorite part about this run fair? Killing blows of the joust. <laughs> Excuse me? What? <laughs> they take it very seriously here. They just have a better oh. joust. Oh, okay, so we gotta see the joust. Cool. It's, it's bloody, it's magnanimous, it's great. <laughs> All right, we also gotta try a turkey leg. We're rating every turkey leg. Yes. Right. And I also wanna see the chess match. The, so what's what's the, the chess, chess match? match? There's a giant chess match mm. where all of the players are, are human chess pieces. And like basically wizard chess? Oh, oh like PA has that. Yeah. Cool, we'll see you in there. Cool. We're getting dressed, because the line's too long. I hope I didn't lace my seatbelt into my bodice. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to war! I'm a man! <laughs> war! <laughs> One thing accomplished. We went to the bathroom. We're getting food next. The bathrooms here are porta potties, but they do have real sinks with running water and not just like reservoirs of stagnant water like Maryland does. Dole float. How is it? Pineapple. Pineapple. I haven't tried the actual whip yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the stuff. Oh, shit. What's that? It's a Dole Whip in a float. Oh, yeah. Pineapple float. Oh. Do you like? It? Do you like? It? All right. So we've got turkey legs. Turkey legs here are sixteen dollars. LA's was twenty or nineteen. Nineteen. And then Maryland, I think, is under ten dollars. PA was like twelve, thirteen dollars. So. Will this be that much better than the cheaper ones? We'll find out. Get back. Rise up to my champagne! Mission accomplished. Yay! It's got a nice firm bone on it. There's no uh, wrap. Yeah. Yeah, steak on a stick. Steak on a steak. It's convenient. <laughs> it is convenient. Did oh, you get you a, beer? a beer? I got a beer. Well awesome. Got turkey leg. And I'm gonna try to eat it without spilling all over myself. <laughs> Turkey Lake here, definitely better than PA. Not as good as LA. What did you get? Pierogies. How are they? Not bad. I feel like fair pierogies are a lot drier than like normal pierogies. What did you get? A gyro. Chicken. He's a gyro. Oh. Yeah, they actually could make a gluten free gyro. So this fair has like gluten-free options. Like it said, they can make everything gluten-free. Yeah, at yeah, that one place. Just at the one place, the Euro place. Yeah, it can be like falafel and uh, euros. So they can make anything gluten-free or vegan. How is it? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Distribution company. I got a pirate prop. It's a gun. It doesn't work. They said don't fire it because it'll break. So, you know. I also got keys.
just stopped at the other place that sells the holsters for the flintlock we got earlier. And because we're leaving soon and don't like live anywhere near the New York Ren Fair, the guy who is making it is going to drop it off at the Maryland Ren Fair for us. So very, very convenient. I got one that has like a little oak leaf pattern on it, and he's going to dye it brown with a black antiquing on top. And then I also got to pick the little knobby dude thing. Uh, yeah, very exciting. Yay. Are you excited? Yeah, it's a holster. Wait, there's Charlie. Oh, great. Charlie! 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 Oh, there's all of the everybody. Hello. Please explain the free donuts. Okay, so this place has a little mini donuts place. This is the pride and joy of this fair. They have a maple bacon one, which is yeah, amazing. If you want to try one of their donuts, they do offer free donuts. If you go to the front, they often have a bowl filled with leftover donuts that uh, came out from bad batches. Like, you know, maybe one got halved accidentally, and so they, they put it in the free pile. They toss it in the original coated sugar, and then they just leave it up top for people to take a bite and just try it. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool. Okay, we got two for donuts. What was your favorite part? It couldn't have been donuts because you can't eat the donuts. I can't eat the donuts. Uh, the gluten-free euro. That's a good one. It's rare that I get to have uh, not baked potato food at a restaurant. Yeah, that's true. My favorite part was shopping because that's always my favorite part. <laughs> I freaking love shopping. If only they had the thing that I actually wanted. Ugh. Well, if you take a picture, I'll keep an eye out. Promise? Yeah, absolutely. That's a good face. What was your favorite part? The donuts. <laughs> yeah, for donuts. Wow. Here, here what was your favorite? Donut. Dole donuts. Whip. The Dole Whip. The Dole Whip was really wow. good. Uh, yeah. You met Mina. Yeah, hey Mina. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Hello. Hello. I also need a stamp. Tell me your stamp. Oh my goodness. Oh, that, that is... <laughs> you see things? Oh boy. <laughs> we're going. So we got kind of a long walk, but we're going home. I changed my mind. My favorite part is that there's lots of grass to sit on. We don't have much grass to sit on at Maryland. It's all mulch. But this one has so much grass to sit on. It was really good for lunch because normally it's just we stand there and hope that we don't drop everything. Do you have a good time despite your allergies? <laughs> I had a great time. <laughs> I came in here to buy a belt to go with my outfit and I walked out with a pistol. Medieval Walmart is a weird place. <laughs> I'm contemplating switching into the night's outfit now. Do it. I was like, it is a bit cooler now. Do you now. think they'll let me in with the foil? It's, it's tied. Mm -hmm. I have no it's idea. Tied. The difference between a Florentine gown and a Venetian gown is you have to try to imagine a Florentine is very boxy. Mm -hmm. So it's got a wide neckline, very square, very wide. 
and the Gamora cinches and you always have these big billowed sleeves that almost encase entirely. Mm -hmm. Whereas a Venetian dress was more cosmopolitan and Venetian gowns were more influenced by a lot of French and a lot of English fashions. So the, the look was like very like cinched uh, uh, stays that were open at the very front that mm -hmm. showed off the chemise. And the courtesans in, in Venice also wore like uh, these cute little hair horns as well. And they wore high heels, these like big Oh, the chapinos? Yeah, the chapinos. Or chopins? Chopins. Chopins. I can't remember Chopino. what they're called. I think they're called chopins. I will correct it somewhere yeah. here. <laughs> I try to think of it kind of like how a Florentine girly is like very relaxed LA vibes almost. <laughs> but New York girlies are more like the Venetian girls. East Ven Coast versus West Coast vibes. Yeah, kind of, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Very like tight stays and uh, an exposed deep V that was the most influential style and it had a spiral lace that went across like that. Mm. And tighter sleeves were in fashion as well with a bum roll and everything. Oh, so they were really going for it. They really went for it. <laughs> cool, history lesson with Estrella. It's not really a history lesson. I'm sure I got some things history wrong. History light. I, but, but I really do love oh, history cool. and I love learning. So for context, Australia said that the Texas Ren Fair is Romeo and Juliet themed, so it's Venetian, you said? I've been told it's like Venetian or vaguely Italian Renaissance in general, so you'll see some Florentine and you'll see some Venetian fashions. I don't know if it's changed though, but generally from what I saw via Pinterest and like generally mm -hmm. like all of the, the pictures and everything, they've the always inspo. gone for that style of fashion from that area. Cool. I had no idea and we're thinking of going to Texas next year, so. Yeah, See you let's there. do it. I'll be with yeah. my people finally. <laughs>so biggest difference it was also like most of the other ones where they don't ban like mass-produced items so there's that I guess it's mostly just Maryland who has banned that I didn't look very closely at LA so I don't know but LA and New York are owned by the same people so like it might be better I don't know any other differences you guys noticed more mainstream beer I didn't really see any micro whatever brew the cafe the was great. Captain the cappuccino Lawrence. place. No, Captain Lawrence is right near here. Three of the beers they had were from a brewery that's like half hour away. I see. Oh, correct. For what it's worth, New Yorker here to clarify. <laughs> we also had more coffee options. Just more food options generally. I feel like a yeah. lot of Maryland's food options are just fried food. It was a little bit more variety of vendors, I think. Like they had a tea shop and they had um, like all the standard clothing shops, but they had more leather shops. They had a pirate specific shop. Maryland has better desserts, in my opinion. Yeah. Really? The yeah. Dole Whip. I just think Maryland has a bigger variety of desserts and like more fun things, like the whole like the scoop of cookies with milk thing and like. Sure. It's also sprinkled all over in Maryland, you know, food and the drink, yeah. which I like. Like you can kind of be shopping and then turn and get like a pickle, you know, and like. Whereas yeah. here it was like you had to be in the food or drink places. That's true. And I appreciate that Maryland kind of tries to make you immersed. I think also New York was smaller. Every time I turned a corner, it felt like I was back where I had already been. Yes, yeah. so was that was weird. Yeah, Maryland's more like there's like a route you can naturally kind of loop around in it. I feel. Yeah, whereas this was very like, like it was kind of like a figure eight that you just went around and around. Yeah. Yes. Oh, much harder to find free water. Oh like, yeah. Maryland, I guess we know where it is already, and this was a little bit more Even out then, of the way. Maryland has a bunch more first aid stations, I feel like. They just have the one, but it's in a more. really central location rather than only being at the front. So yeah. like here we had to backtrack all the way to the front and it wasn't like the front was part of a loop. So that was kind of annoying and we didn't really find free water. So it also wasn't me. like clearly indicated as well. Well, like the Maryland one, their first aid area is very clearly mm -hmm. painted and indicated. Right, this right. just like, like a red. spigot in the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Maryland has like a gigantic like red cross that indicates they, they that it's They also encourage aid. you to come get free water in Maryland. When we were there, they yeah. were literally like, hey, do you guys need water? <laughs> like, yeah. it wasn't like a hidden thing you had to find. Yeah, I think my favorite part was that they had lots of grassy areas to sit, so it made eating lunch a lot easier. Maryland, it's really hard to find a place to sit for lunch. You kind of just have to hover over people and hope that they'll get up. Mm -hmm. Whereas here, we could just sit in the shade in the grass, and that was super easy. That's about it. And here's the gun I bought. Wait, I'll take it out. I was intending to get a belt because that's what I need for my outfit purposes for logistics, but then they had these guns and they were so well priced. Oh, yours is so pretty. Yeah. Bad oh for the mechanism. A lovely chemise because I have a few yeah. overdresses and I've been looking for one specifically that has these little, the little bubble sleeve in the middle with a long, a long flowy <laughs> bit. All right, so that was the Ren Fair. You didn't get to go. 
I'm going to Salem now with Maddie, so we're about to make that drive. Uh, New York Grand Fair, I think final verdict. I like Maryland still the most. I think also I liked PA a little bit better than New York, but I would come back to New York, so there's that. It was definitely a lot more expensive than both Maryland and PA. It was about on par with LA, so, you know, they're run by the same people though. LA was a little more expensive. So that's it. If you like this video, you know, like it and then comment and if you have a red fair that you like the most, let me know and then see you next week. We're going to Salem. Hell yeah. Ooh. I mean, heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs>